we're asked to write the quadratic function f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 5 in vertex form. Notice how the given quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This is often referred to as general form or standard form. Our goal is to write the quadratic function in vertex form, which is this form, f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where in this form, the ordered pair h comma k is the vertex of the parabola. And because the quadratic function is in general form or standard form as shown here, one method to do this would be to use these formulas here to find the coordinates of the vertex and then use those values to write the function in vertex form. Another option would be to complete the square, but for this example, we'll be using these formulas, where the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a, and therefore the x-coordinate of the vertex is also negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate would be the function value at x equals negative b divided by 2a. So beginning with the given function, let's identify the values of a, b, and c. Notice a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c equals positive 5. So now let's find the equation of the axis of symmetry, which will also give us the x-coordinate of the vertex. So we would have x equals negative b divided by 2a is negative negative 4 all divided by 2 times 1, which is positive 4 divided by 2, which equals 2. So because the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals 2, we also know the x-coordinate of the vertex is positive 2. And now we'll find the y-coordinate by evaluating the function at x equals 2, which is indicated here by f of negative b divided by 2a. So f of 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 5. Simplifying, we have 4 minus 8 plus 5, which equals positive 1. So now we know the y-coordinate is equal to positive 1, and the value of a in general form or center form is the same as the value of a in vertex form. So now we have all the information we need. We know a equals 1, we know h equals 2, and we know k equals 1. Again, because the vertex in this form is the ordered pair h comma k. Which means in vertex form we'd have the equation f of x equals 1 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 1. Again, we have a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. However, here, because a is 1, we can leave it off. It's more common just to write f of x equals the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 1. Before we go, though, let's verify our work graphically. If you were to graph both of these functions on the same coordinate plane, we get the same graph, and we can see from the graph the vertex is 2 comma 1, verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.